So candidates, please listen carefully as I state the mechanics of our Q&A portion. Okay, each candidate will be given a different question based on the number they pull from the jar. Each number corresponds to a different judge. The questions for this version will be provided by the judges and read by the respective judge that the candidate drew from the jar. Only the top four male and top four female candidates will participate in the question and answer portion. The selection will be based upon on the highest accumulated score of each candidate for the judge portion before the Q&A. The candidates will only be given a maximum of one minute and 30 seconds to answer the question. For the time, uh, it will be flashed on the screen. An excess of each minute will render a candidate half point or 0 0.5 from his or her overall score. Any form of foul language or defamation during the candidate's answer is strictly prohibited. Failure to comply renders the candidate automatic disqualification. This a gentle reminder to our candidates that once you start to speak or answer your designated question, our timer will also start its countdown. So, take a deep breath and relax. To our dear candidates, again, we will call you one by one to choose your question from the jar and you are given a maximum of one minute and 30 seconds to answer. Good luck, candidates. We would also like to remind our dear formates to observe proper decorum and respect for our candidates as they answer. For our first candidate, may we call on candidate number six. I'm usually sweeting. Um, I'm someone who tends to 
shy away from um, being uh, a top and uh, charismatic. Obviously, you want to be charismatic if you're going to be a future massage pharmacist. Um, uh, when you prepare new drugs or you present new drugs, you obviously want to have that charismatic thing. Um, <laughs> Thank you so much, candidate number six. For our first female candidate, please pick up your question.
with your knee. So I hope I actually did not wish to be asking again another question. But this question I think will be out for you. So my question is, what person, living or dead, do you consider to be your Polaris or North Star? Thank you for your wonderful question. I consider my dad as my Polaris because he's been working hard enough to provide for our family because he is actually an OFW. He did a lot of sacrifices for us, for it may be also to, for me to be present here, presenting to all of you and to advocate to love your loved ones. Be inspired by them and be thankful for them because we have to be grateful for them because they gave us the chance, the opportunity to give us to be given gifts by them and also by God. As I've said, my dad is my Polaris. He is my constant reminder that I should stay motivated and inspired because he himself is not giving up for me and for my family. And I thank you. Thank you, to that one. 